Uh, this is my pigeons feed it and this is actually the very first time this is the first time since having my flock that I've been in the area to actually feed them yeah, this is the first time I've actually been in the area it's, it's since since all I've been trying to do first is build up trust it's with food and yeah and yeah so since it's the first time I've actually been in with them it's some of the more recent ones are are still a bit jumpy yeah but these are pigeons and guess who's back? Yeah, the cat's back. It's in there, leave the birds alone. So, yeah, as you can see, it's that the pigeons are more or less used to the cat. So, it, 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 so soon, they didn't really bother them anymore. So, There you go, babies. Smooth, smooth seed. And also, my pigeons are quite well fed. I'm looking that out of all my pets. Out of all my pets, these are the most well looked after, I would say. These pigeons are a passion of mine. They're my family heritage. And the cat's back again. Yeah, yeah, you can see your eyes. That's what I like about cats, is that. Yeah, so it's the first car I've had in many years, because I'm 30 now, 31 this year. And I've not actually had a car since I were around in my late teens. Yeah, with I sort of developed a fear of cats, but I haven't seen the as a kitten. Yeah. I haven't trained her for the world. But she's somewhere down there. Cindy! Cindy, Cindy, Cindy! Lay the sea! So, yeah. So sometimes... I would say that Cindy makes them jump, but the pigeons are used to because they're still hanging around now, and the pigeons are still just doing their usual thing and keeping on feeding. So the pigeons are getting used to their cat now, which is quite good. So. I would say it is anyway. Yeah, it's cold again. Since it's like half past four, quarter to five, here in the UK. You know, my pigeons are flapping around because as you can see, my cat's hanging around. So... And this area, and this loft is very icy, and where I'm now, it's actually, yeah, it's actually, because my foot is slip and sliding. Yeah, but these, but this is the first time I've actually ever been in the area. With my pigeon, so it looks like I'm building up that trust slowly but surely. So, so I'm hoping. It's, yeah, midnight. Yeah, yeah, he's one of my original pigeons, which started out with with the stock, but he is right inside of me. Since he was this third pigeon that I actually bought off this flock so he's 
quite used to me. He is one of the ones that started off in the back room of the house. So, as you can see from my earlier videos. So. Yep, there's some pigeons up there. So that means this is the first time I've actually been in the aviary and they're all feeding as they usually would. So it looks like we are building the trust all between us. And this one that's here, and that's Augusta, she is the pigeon that I've raised from three or four week old. She's the first pigeon I got off this flock and she's the only one that's single ringed with the number 47 on the leg ring. Yeah, she's my main bird. And those pigeons are flapping around. So... So, so the ones down here now are... Will you leave them alone? Bleeding cat. They're my birds, not yours. Seriously, leave them alone. And that's what me and those pigeons are trying to feed and the cat is harassing them. These are the birds, my flock, my gang. Yeah, it's really slippery here in this loft though. Um, I've got more food. Actually, Right, right out here, I'm going to do a bit of a tour. The cat's still hanging around. Cindy! So me being in here, as well as cat, is that's because I'm a bit stressed. All the birds are all the birds flapping around. I don't know where the cat is, but she's not open. Anyway, so these are the shelters. So there's the bottom bit right there. There's the second floor, which is going to open bit and the closed bit. Third, which is open. Fourth shelter has got a open bit and a closed bit, and then there's the top floor, which most of my pigeons roost on a lot of the time. Or oh, oh, when the sun's out, uh, they actually sit on the on on the very edge there. So, yeah, and he is one of my favourites, um, he's one of my favourites, he's Caesar, he's the second pigeon I bought off this flock. Altogether there's four, because the other one is, is, is that racer, that's on the second floor, he were the third, of, not third, fourth, so, and then they built this loft and that, and then Added more to the collection. So, yeah, but there's also got an old trunk of a cherry tree. An old trunk of a cherry tree as a perch. I feed them on 
bird seed as well as mixing with fat bowls, sweet bowls. I also made sure the well watered, you know the main water this was I've completely frozen over with old snow. But in that pink tub that, that is absolutely full of water and they've woke up all the yard so, so they've got plenty of fresh water and they've got a perch frame in this laid up against that side. And they've also and they've also got a few pot plants. So a few pot plants, some deciduous, so they so they've kind of few seasonal change. And also in summer when the plants are in leaf they will provide shelter. And as you can see on the cleared itself there's it's coconut shell filled with fat and that. So just, um, and so so my pigeons I've got plenty of things to keep them occupied and that and they've got each other. Yeah but since it's really cold at this time of year, the water bottle is frozen up so I can't get a drink from them but at least I've got that. It's just got a whole it seems with that I broke up the ice, so yeah, these are my pigeons and as I say this is the first time I've been in the loft with them to feed them. So anyway, see you in the next video. Bye 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 bye.